Hmm, let's see here. Ooh, that one. Hey everyone, Jason here. I hope you're all doing really good. I have an iPhone 7 that will turn on, but the screen is black and will not show an image. I had a repair shop locally and they replaced the backlight filter and they said it still does not turn on the image. The phone itself does turn on. You can hit the home button and the phone is doing something. You just can't see an image on the screen. It's a black screen of death. I have to be really honest. Even hearing about something as simple as a backlight filter being replaced is absolutely terrifying. Now, for some reason, this phone actually arrived with the screen uh, outside. No, wait, that's just the new screen assembly. So here's what they sent me. I'm assuming the phone is inside of this box. I'm really curious to see exactly what the repair shop did to this before me and why this thing is not getting an image. All right, here we go. So at first glance, this thing is not squeezed shut. It's actually partially open. We are missing the pentalobe screws. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. All right, open really easy, of course, because it's already been opened. Oh, Lord. What is it with... <laughs> oh, man. When you see me post some snarky stuff like, I got the best customers, I just... Don't get me wrong. I really am thankful that I get to sit here doing this, but there's no way that I could possibly stay in business while only receiving devices like this. I'm not kidding. It's... It's 50%. It, 50%. Maybe... Maybe 51.5%. I, I don't know. What did this shop do again? They replaced the backlight filter. So I realized that many of you watching this channel are not people that repair cell phones and immediately know exactly what it is that you're looking at here. So I'm gonna take a minute to explain this. First of all, this phone looks like complete total trash. It does not look like a phone that, that has had what I would consider to be a backlight filter replaced. We should have up here, we should have a metal plate that covers this area here. This is our CPU and baseband CPU. This metal plate is missing. Down here we've got a bunch of like RF switching wizardry going on and it is also supposed to have a metal plate that covers it. That metal plate is missing. On this model there are very few things that I would consider to be a backlight filter. Uh, one of the most common things that I run into is FL3906. This is something that gets PP1V8 over to PP1V8 LCM con. This is a 1.8 volt signal that goes to the uh, out to the display, but that's a no image situation and not a no backlight situation. Down at the very bottom of the board, we have what I would actually consider to be the backlight filters. We have a couple of them for the cathodes, and then we also have one of them for the anode. So there must be a good handful of you that are curious to see what is going on with this board. I will say that the liquid damage indicator has been tripped. And it looks like we've got some moisture in here up here. Okie dokie, I've got the board out of here. And let me tell you, it just keeps getting worse. Not only are these top shields missing, but the bottom bracket here is missing as well. It has been desoldered here. And then it looks like we are missing like a rather large IC here. Now this is for sure what I would consider to be a liquid damage board. Now it does appear that beyond a shadow of a doubt, the Backlight filter area has been messed with. Oh, look, we have ball squeezage. Also, we've got all of this carnage going on over here where the backlight driver is supposed to be. We've got stuff nudged around here. Got like an extra ball hanging off the side of the backlight diode there. For some reason, they have removed this chip down here. And my most favorite part out of all of this is that they were nice enough to leave some hair everywhere. Mmm. So here we are looking at phone board and I have the proper board open. I do have to say that this is a really wonderful piece of software you can download for free from phoneboard.co. Sorry, Paul, but I mean, it, it really is kind of cool that this guy puts us out here for free only on donations. So it looks like we have some data communication wizardry going on here. And to be 100% honest, I'm not exactly sure what that little IC does there. But one thing that I can say for absolute certain, iPhone 7, no image. This is absolutely, positively, beyond the shadow of a doubt, not, I mean, not a no image phone. 
I'm sure that this phone will start up without an image, but once image is repaired, that's whenever we start to find out the real problems that this phone is going to have. And also, although it may appear that I'm rich at times, I really can't afford to have unnecessary warranty work. There's a chance that this customer just doesn't, you know, he doesn't know exactly what he sent in here. Like, I mean, there's a chance that it's been to a repair shop that, that did all these things to it, but uh, what's it look like on the top side? All right, so we've got this thing stuffed in the connector here. We've got things corroded off here. Here's the original cause. <laughs> I don't even know how to do, like... I'm sorry, like... I know everybody wants to see me repair things, but this is not a board that I can repair and be able to put the food on the table. So here's a guy that got the phone wet. It was at a point where the phone's up and running, he can hear it, it's making sound and stuff, but he is not able to see what's on the screen. We have somebody who has just like really pulled their hair out trying to figure out why the backlight's not working. You can see that this spot here, this is where our backlight driver normally sits. I'm not sure, it looks like they may have also replaced both backlight diodes. I'm going to say that they have. And then also they have replaced the, the backlight filters down here. Now on the top side, if we look at the connector though, and we zoom right in, this end of the connector, I mean, we've just gotten some corrosion and liquid damage here down in all around the connector, but most of the pins here are still in pretty good shape until you get down here to these three out here on the end. Look how loose these are. Like this is just, that one, the middle one might still be connected, but the third one, and the first one, these pins are just like really, really loose and corroded pretty much all the way off the board. Let's just have a look and see what those three pins are. Backlight cathode, backlight cathode, backlight anode. So there is a significant chance that the backlight circuit, the backlight driver, the diodes, all of the carnage on this board, other than the liquid damage was created over three pins on this connector not being, you know, not being connected. They're, they're corroded off the board. So aside from a thorough cleaning, I believe to get this to start up with backlight working, the last technician would have had to basically just resolder these three pins and then really commonly on this model, deal with the backlight filters down here on this end here. So I know everybody really, really, really likes to see repair content where I fix really crazy stuff like this. This is not a phone that I am able to fix profitably or even just like to fix in good conscience and, you know, send this out with somebody's kid to go off on a vacation or something. Like who knows what these people are going to do with this phone if I send it back to fix. There's a pretty good chance this thing is going to wind up back into my lap as a warranty job for some reason or another. I'm going to give this customer the option of digging into this for the sole purpose of data recovery. If they choose to continue, I may come back to this and revisit in a future video, but as it is now, I'm really sorry guys, but there is just no way I can continue on this one, not without a go for data only. So that is going to be the end of this video. I thank you all for watching and uh, I will see you soon, hopefully in a repair video. Have a good day. Huh, well, it sure is a good thing they included that new screen.